I'd like to talk for just a second about rootless chord voicings. Uh, here's a chord, right? And that's the root, that's the third, that's the fifth. I could add a sixth, I could add a seventh, I could add a major seventh, I could add a ninth, I could add an eleventh, I could add a thirteenth, I can add all those if I want to. But if I leave out the root and imply those, uh, imply the root, then it creates a, a more of an open sound. Uh, kind of, kind of, an ambiguous sound, and, and that's what you want in certain situations. Listen to this. Whoops. See, that's open voicing, and it's implied. Look at my left hand chord. I'm playing the C chord, but there's no C. There's an E, and the sixth, A, and the second. Uh, D or the ninth, you can call it the second if you want. Okay, and all those other chords that I used too were rootless. In other words, there was no low root. Now sometimes you can imply it, not only imply it, but hit it on the first B and push your pedal down. You see that if I push, play the root, and maybe the root in the fifth, or maybe the root fifth and tenth, and then that, then it connects it. Or if you have, happen to play in a trio, the bass player can play the root, and that's then you definitely want to use rootless chord voicings because there's no no need to duplicate what the bass player is doing. You, that frees you up to do a lot of a lot of other things like that. Okay, so that's all there is to rootless chord voicings. Just leave the root out, but put other notes in it that imply uh, imply the root. Thanks.